All right, so I wanted to make a video on my recent purchase. Not a TV or a radio. Let's see what it is in just a second. And it came with an instructional VHS. So that will be fun to go through. I hate packing peanuts. They get everywhere. All right, let me get this out of the box. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a clue. VG91, Syncor VG91. <clears throat> so let's, let's get it out of there. It came with some connectors. I haven't seen this before. This wasn't in the photos. B and C connectors looks like. And then to a uh, DVI or VGA, I forget what they're called. All right, let's get this out. Damn, this thing is clean. All right, let's set this up. It's very clean. I've been wanting this model for a very long time and it finally came up on eBay for a good price. So I put a bid in right when it went up and sort of just forgot about it. And then I got the email saying I won like four days later. Got the table of contents here. That's very cool. Let's take a look at the back. Oh, the original warranty. Oh. So the person I got it from on eBay said that they rarely used it. So I'm wondering if they were the original owners of it. Yeah, this is so clean. So I'm gonna take it in the other room get a television set up and let's go through some of the different patterns that they have here. One of the big reasons I got this was the window circle pattern. I think that's the best pattern to really do great trouble troubleshooting with. I think the circle really helps. But this also does a ton more. So yeah, let's get it set up in the other room. I'll get a color TV set up on it and we can go through the patterns here. All right, this is not the update I wanted for this project. <laughs> so I opened it up about an hour ago and it is not producing a signal on either a video output. It has the audio output, um, the RF, I mean, there's, there's nothing going on there. I might go over to just channel three. Yeah, I'm not, that's pretty much, so that's just static and then that's it tuned in. So before looking or going looking online, I noticed as I was doing this, that there is some capacitor leakage right under there. You can sort of see the reflection there. This is the power board, uh, the power supply board right here. And it looks like those two caps right there are leaking. So that makes me question those as well. 
I didn't see anything from the big capacitors, but I'm gonna take those out and test them. Well, we'll replace them because they're leaking, but. Yep, I can't just get an old piece of tech like this and trust it's gonna work immediately. So yeah, I had to take it apart and just sort of see my way around. I didn't see any, you know, exploded caps or any burns on the board. So I guess I'm just gonna take out this power power supply, replace those caps, and hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. We'll see. All right, well that was the weirdest thing ever. Okay, so let me explain what I did. I replaced all of the little smaller caps. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one on the board and the fuse kept popping. It's nighttime out. I've been going crazy. The fuse kept popping. And then I noticed a diode. See where it says CR13 right there? There was a diode across there, a 1N4004. And I replaced it and it kept smoking and the fuse kept popping. So I was like, all right, let's just take out the diode, uh, hook it back up, put a new fuse in, and see what happens. And then let's see if uh, a di another diode smokes so at least I can trace it back. And lo and behold, it just fires up like perfectly and it looks great. Like what, what? I mean, I'm happy. But what the hell? Oh, that's so cool. All right, so you see all these buttons right here. And as I go down, pressing on and off, you go down the whole list. Man, that's sick. So those are bar uh, multicolor. Multi burst bar sweep. Oh, these are the color bars, but it was a black and white set. This is staircase looking good. So, yeah, if anyone. You can ex Okay, so this is the pattern I love. I love the circle pattern. I cannot get enough of it. Um, but why, after taking out the diode, is everything working properly? I replaced all the caps, same value, everything was the same. And then that diode just kept popping. So I don't, I don't get it. Maybe a certain part of the board or certain, I don't know, man. I'm so confused. I'm so confused, uh, but I love, I love this set. So this is going to the uh, video output right now. So this is a AV input, so. I can go back to the RF out. And yeah, it still looks great. You get some fuzz on the screen. I think that just comes with this set not really being too great. I mean, I am so confused, but happy. It works. Well, I guess some of the fuzziness came from it being interlaced. So yeah, I have some fooling around to do with this, I guess. I am still just a little confused. All right, I'll stop saying that I'm confused. It just, it works. It works, I'm happy. I love this generator. So yeah, quick, quick little video. Very weird. Please let me know if you knew if you know why that happened after I took the diode out everything works fine now very strange